in the spirit, right? Yeah. 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 Shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Yeah. Yeah. So if you're walking and talking with Jesus right. all the time, Amen. Yeah. you won't fulfill the lust yeah. of the flesh. Right. Right. Yes, sir. The devil's after you all the time. Right. I want to sing a song that God gave me years ago. Matter of fact, I sing it in Brother Davis of the church in Simsport. Brother Lane was there. Yes, sir. And that's been a long time. Yes. Today I was talking with some so-called friends. He said, let's go to the bar. We'll have a drink. I already took two steps before I stopped to think. And they looked back and said, what's wrong? Let's go. And why are you so 
true because he he went to Calvary not on his feet but for us because he done something you and I couldn't do we were on our way to a devil's hell but he said all oh, but the blood
Well, she knew exactly what to do. Strike that chord and sing about the blood yes, of Jesus yes, Christ. Yes, 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 I want to tell you, there's nothing more powerful than the blood of the Lord it. Jesus. Yes, yes, That's the whole sum of the matter. Yes, sir. Folks got their doctor known. They, they'll tell you you ain't saved till you speak in tongues. I want to tell you, Paul said we're justified by the blood of Jesus. That's it. That's it. Yes. Glory to God. You got to get saved before you get filled. That's yes. 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 Absolutely. Noah turning birds out there in that ark. Amen. And that dove come back, a representation of the Holy Ghost. But that raven, he didn't turn back. You know why? Because he found him a lodging place on a dead carcass yeah. floating across that, that, that sea of disaster and uh -huh. doom out there. Yeah. But you see, flesh will light on flesh. But that Holy Ghost ain't going to light on nothing that's still full of flesh. Right. But when you wash by the blood of Jesus, yeah. come on, son. Yeah. If he turns somebody's apple cart over, oh, right. man, glory to God. Oh, man. man, I want to tell you, we're saved by the blood oh, of Jesus yeah. Christ. Oh, and I believe like the old general, you say everybody's hung up on tongues. You buy the shoe, the tongue comes with it. Yes, oh, come on. You will speak in tongues, honey, yeah. when you get saved. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Glory right. to God. You right. just lay yourself out before the Lord. Amen. So that puts people vexes their minds on all this stuff. Yeah. Dear God, I got I got full of the Holy Ghost, Amen. And and little Baptist girl here, you know, he's going to Spirit Field Church, and mm, I got well, Lord, she had a towel on, but when I come out of the room, I had a heavenly visitation with the Lord. I come out of the room, the carpet was wet. I said, "What well, might have to do? We spring a leak? I don't think there's no plumbing here." What it was, she she was in that bathtub. She heard that heavenly language come on somebody. She said, "I gotta get out and go see about it." Right, they free. Yeah. yeah. And the doctrine must be Jesus Christ. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, glory. Man, I am honored. I talked to this guy right here this evening. Yeah. And we talked, and, and then I made a stop, visited some folks before we got here to see and he's standing in the parking lot. I said, Dear God, he done had one of the acts encounters. He got translated from North Louisiana down here. Hallelujah. I told him, I said, listen, I want you to come up and greet the, sir, the, the church right after. But I got some unfinished business here. God, I put some. I saw something today. We talked about it this morning. I went from that corner back there to this corner over here. We talked about it before Sunday school. But I didn't know they connected. Come on, somebody. Come on, man. Turn to Revelation chapter 2. We get back at Hebrews chapter 12. Glory. That this word is such a living book. Yes. Yes, it's a living. It all connects. Yes, sir. Glory to God. From the first word in Genesis to the Amen of Revelation, it, it connects. Glory to God. So, Sister Kay, we're going to do part two of, 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 of the, the rules of the race with with a subtitle: the difference between left and lost. Okay, yes, sir. The difference between left and lost. All right. It's a difference if you just walk off and leave something. Yes, sir. Yeah. Then you just fool around and lose it. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes, sir. Glory to God. Go ahead, Hallelujah. Hebrews chapter 12. Revelation chapter 2. You get it tonight? Say amen. Man, amen. I want to tell you, I just about got plumb caught up. I thought we was going to get raptured out of here. Yes, oh, I look around and I... Come on, I said, I, I sobered up, <laughs> and I'm still here. Yeah. Hallelujah. We told you this morning tonight we would probably look at the pattern of our faith. Well, the pattern of our faith, you know what a pattern is. How many you sportsmen, you buy a new shotgun, and you, you say, well, I, I need to... Come on, Big Papa, help me. We need to pattern that thing. We, buy, we get us a big piece of cardboard, lay it up against something. You go dove hunt if you're shooting seven and a half or whatever. You young, you young guys get with me here. huh? You, you cram that baby full and you get you a rest and you shoot that thing a couple of times. You walk down there after one shot though and you see how the BBs is laying out. Because right. not every gun shoots all ammo the same. Right. Yeah. All right, well we tried that brand. Let's try this brand now. Come on now. And all of a sudden where it was spotty and hitting all over the place, now you've got a, a uniform pattern there. Yeah. Because when a, when a bird, when you're shooting a bird on the wing, especially some of these fast flying birds, and, and you want, a, you want a, a gun that's going to produce a pattern. Amen. A kill zone. Right, yeah. 
in, in, a, in, a, in a big radius. Right. And not all shells do that because some guns shoot different, like I said. Amen. Well, the pattern of, uh, of success for you and I is formed by Jesus Christ. Right there. Yeah. We, we, we look to his life. And we see success. Yes, yes, right. We look to his life. We see victory. Yes. We look to his life. We see deliverance. Yes. We look to his life and we see healing. Right. Come on, somebody. Right. We look yes. to his life and we got a, eternity. Glory yes. to God. He is a pattern. Amen. He's the same pattern that God spoke to Moses about the Old Testament tabernacle. Right. Come on now. He said, I got a pattern. If you'll follow this blue pen, you don't change the color. You don't darken the shade or light in the shade. You don't change a centimeter nor an inch. You do exactly what I'm telling you to do and it will be successful because God himself will get the glory. Amen. For, for if you and I would just do it the way the book says. Right, we have trouble when we get outside the boundaries of this book. Amen. Right, Brother Rock said it beautiful tonight. We ended up walking in the flesh. Man, I ain't heard that song dear. God, that brought back memories when you sang that tonight. You remember, Sister Ruth, yeah, you, yeah, we've showed you where we were at in Simpsport, that little bitty cubicle of a cinder box on the inside that the first winter, it got so cold that if you stuck your hand on the cinder box, it stuck right there. A a amen. We saw God move in such a moment. And, 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 and I, I, you know, it didn't last long, about a year and a half that God told me to stop. God told me to stop it. A amen. Didn't last long, but there was more education took place in that one and a half years to set our whole ministry in array. Come on now. Come on, somebody. We saw anything you can imagine. We probably saw it. Come on. Glory to God. Dear God, I passed. I went through since Ford the other day, and that dark cloud still hanging over that sea. I just, I rolled my window and I said, "Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> They're delivering me. Glory to God. We pray for folks down there, absolutely. But sometimes, hey, you ever been to a place you was ready to leave? Oh, yeah. Yeah. But you know, but when you're told to go somewhere, yes, sir. you don't leave on your own accord. You wait on the instruction. Yes, sir. Come on. Yeah. yeah. Glory to God. Well, we'll talk about all that some other time. Are you at Hebrews chapter 12? Yes, sir. Yes. Verse number one, wherefore seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witness. Let us lay aside every weight of the sin which do us so easily beset us. And let us run with patience the race that is set before us. Right. Yes. Looking into Jesus. I think you need to say that with me. Looking yes, into yes, Jesus. Yes, Amen. The author and the finisher of our faith. Yes, he is. Yes. Who for the joy that was set before him right. endured the right. cross, right. despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. Yes, yes. Now look back in that first verse. Let us lay aside every weight and the sin which do us so easily beset us, and let us run with patience. patience. Now we talked about we talked about that some this this, this morning. Uh, we we'll, we'll get back into that in just a little bit. But I want us to turn to Revelation chapter two, where the Lord began to talk to the church. Amen. Seven churches. There seven. He said he writes seven letters to the seven churches. The angel or the pastors would 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 introduce this to, to the to the body of of Christ. And, but but first and foremost, it comes. Char the charge was to the to the angel or the messenger. You understand the, the message to Ephesus was the, the, the book of the Ephesians, right? right. Mm -hmm. And like I told you before, there's no more glorious reading than the book of Ephesians. No, yes. They're all yeah. great. Yeah. But dear God, the revelation that Absolutely. we get, that we reap, amen, Absolutely. Yeah. and digest out of the book of Ephesians. Yes, but look here. 50 to 60 years after the ascension of Christ, look here. Unto the angel of the church of Ephesus write, These things saith he that holdeth the seven stars in his right hand, who walketh in the midst of the seven golden candlesticks. I know thy works. This is the Lord telling the body. I know thy works and thy labor and thy patience. And how thou canst not bear them which are evil. And thou hast tried them which say they are apostles and they are not, and hast found them liars, and hast borne, and hast 
Again, patience. He says it twice. Yeah. And for my name's sake hast thou labored and hast not fainted. My God, what a reward. Go ahead, God, and give us the crown. Huh? But look at verse 4. Nevertheless, that means but, I have somewhat against thee, because thou hast left thy first love. I got somewhat against thee, because thou hast left thy first love. Now, they, the, the attention now is like the whole mood of the room had to change. There's a gasp for air and a heavy conviction that has fell upon the body of believers when this letter is read. And Jesus continues. He says in verse 5, Remember, therefore, from whence thou art fallen, and repent, and do the first works, or else I... will come unto thee quickly and we will remove thy candlestick out of his place except thou repent. Amen. Now he goes right back to the encouragement and, and, and more of the things that, 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 they're, that he's, he's, he's per se grateful for or, or seeing that they're on the right track. But this thou hast, that thou hatest the deeds of the Nicolaitans, which I also hate, that's that cheap grace message. He that have an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. To him that overcometh, I will give to eat of the tree of life, which is in the midst, in the midst of the paradise of God. Now I'm just looking at this today. We, 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 I got briefly off my cuff. I spoke back there in the back to a couple of men. We were just talking, just hashing out some stuff. I come up here, open my Bible to make sure I told them that they didn't lose it, they left it. And the Holy Ghost leaped in my spirit and I, and I saw something birthing. A amen. But when I got home today, I'm going to pray and let you sit down in just a minute. But when I got home today, I began to look at all the good deeds that they've done. Before the rebuke and warning and then after the rebuke and warning. But one thing, that if they didn't get right, yes, it would keep them out yes, of the presence of an almighty God. Let's pray. Father, we so love you. Yes, and we thank you for allowing us to run this race with patience. God, I just pray, Father, tonight now, you move divinely already, Father. God, we just pray that you just have your way in this house now. Lord, hide me behind your cross and speak the words of life to this congregation. Thank you for what you've been doing. Thank you, though, for the things you're going to continue to do. Touch all of our sick and afflicted, Father. Across this nation and across this globe, there's so much sickness, Lord, and disease, God. But we know, Lord, that you're able. God, you will make a way where it seemed to be not. And again, we thank you for what you're doing. We ask, pray, believe. In Jesus' wonderful name, and the church would shout amen. amen. Why don't you give the Lord one more praise as you've been seated here tonight. Amen. Boy, y'all went together on that praise a bit. Was <laughs> Amen. The word patience in Hebrews and the word patience in Revelation 2 is the same Greek word. And when you pull that word up back to the Greek, it, it simply means cheerful endurance. Come on. Cheerful endurance. Now, 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 now think about this. We just read Hebrews where for the joy. Huh? Right. For the joy. He went to Calvary. He endured the cross. Yeah. Now, he didn't go to Calvary with a smile on his face. But his heart was overwhelmed by the love of the Father to the to the to the potential of what the church will become. Come on now. Come on now. Jesus spoke to that church. In, in Matthew, and I shall build my church upon this revelation, okay? The church comes to, to more of a head in Acts chapter 2 when the Spirit of God is poured out. Remember, it's, it's poured out on believers there. 
We find out that there was 500 or so in that upper room when they started, 120 faithful, dedicated, and unified. Think about it. Well, tell me, friend, nothing unifies us more than the blood of Jesus. Right. We can unify with each other because we're believers of the Most High God. Right. And here the charge in, in, in Hebrews and again in Revelation 2, we find out that there's something now, something that the Spirit of God is, is, is nudging the writer of Hebrews uh, to write, to try to bring out to, through the cracks and the conformities of all modern man's mindsets uh, to reach a place that we can run this race with patience, uh, a cheerful endurance. Amen. Uh, it also means constancy, steadfastness of mind under duress. Now watch this. Steadfastness of mind under duress. It means unchangeable or unchanging. What I'm simply saying here tonight, uh, while we run the race, there's going to be many obstacles, and we know that. Uh, there's stumbling blocks along the way, but God said, I'll make them stepping stones. Uh, we'll find a place in, 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 in our modern-day history of the church today. Uh, we still pattern ourselves after the old church of, of the book of, of, per se, Acts or wherever that you read. Uh, but on Understand with the revelation of Christ being a new and a fresh uh, to every born again believer, uh, I don't compare myself to Moses, uh, but I must compare myself to Jesus. Uh, and we're looking at this mentality now that so often we get put by the wayside. Like I said this morning, we step out of bounds uh, and we disqualify ourselves from the race. Uh, but tonight I believe, uh, and more than ever before that we've been saved, uh, we need to stay in the race. Uh, we need to run the race with patience. Uh, I told you this morning, it's not for the first one to cross the finish line, but it's for everybody that has stayed on the track. Uh, there's a reward, friend, uh, a reward of holiness, uh, a reward of understanding, uh, a reward of peace and hope uh, and the divine nature of Christ uh, that it will just stay uh, steadfast unto the Lord. Uh, we shall have victory. Uh, That they possessed back then. Yes, sir. That they possessed back then. Go ahead, man. Glory to God. Oh, Look here is. now. He despised and the shame, carried his cross. I said, He carried his cross where he kept his foot on the shame, friend. He said, Oh, no, shame. You stay under my feet. Right. As shame will condemn you, friend. Uh -huh. How many of you have ever felt the, 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 the heaviness of shame? You, yeah. you, you yeah. talked out of turn. Yeah. You acted out of turn. And that devil convinced, he convinced you you was a dirty, rotten scoundrel. He convinced you you got no place in the kingdom of God. He convinced you that you'll never fulfill the plan and destiny of the Lord Jesus Christ. Well, can I tell you, it's impossible in our flesh. But in God, all things are possible. Come on, somebody. As we walk by the Spirit. Amen. Now, I'm looking at this today now. And I, I, I'm, seeing, I'm seeing a correlation in, in this that I've never really put these two together. The difference between left and lost. Uh, this, this, this glorious church of, of the Ephesians, uh, they've got so many great works that they performed. Uh, and they're doing it. Listen, he told them twice in thy patience. They're patient. They're doing, they're doing the proper things right. They're, they've got patience in their, in, their, in, their, in their trials. Patience in their afflictions. Patience in their outlook. They even he even said they can't even bear them that are evil. Right. How many of you detest evil? Right, yeah. absolutely. The body of Christ detests evil. Yeah. I hate the devil. Come on. Yeah. They yeah. taught us all through growing up we're not to hate nobody. You want to hate the devil or you or you a backslide. Come on. Yeah. Because you see that devil convince you that this world's not your enemy. Yeah. This world is your enemy. Yeah. Yeah. Because this world is not your home. You're just a passing through. Yeah. Yeah. I'll use the world's money. I'll drive the world's vehicles. I'll be on the world's, amen, at lumber or metal. But yeah. this ain't our home. Yeah. We're here for just like James the paper. It's not going to last long, dear God. We're alive one day, dead the next. But in the moment that we cease to be here, thank God we up yonder. I like them old folks. They said up yonder. They weren't worried about proper English. They didn't try to spell everything correctly. But when they opened their mouth, they preached. Oh, Jesus was heard. Come on, somebody. The anointing of the Most High God must be present. Yes, sir. In our lives at all 
times. Yes, sir. But we get so frantic because we lose our patience. We we done a, we done a poll this morning, Brother Glenn. How many use patience? Oh, not many hands. I had mine both in my pockets. Glory <laughs> to God. But I want to be. Yes. But I get more like him, I'll be more patient. Come on. Yeah, I know at times things just get on your nerves, don't they? Yes. Right. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Well, here's a place in, 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 in Revelation. That it just took it took it just took me by storm today when I just began to look at this and digest what he was saying. Man, I want to tell you, the Lord walking here tonight and and, and, and almost brag on you about all them good things you're doing. You hate them. You 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 you, you can't just bear them that which are evil. You've tried them, and they said they're apostles, but they're liars. They're false. Their their doctrines false. They're, you found them liars. He didn't sugarcoat them. You, you have born, you, you kept, you birthed and kept, and you have patience. And for my name's sake, Jesus said, you've labored and you have not gained it. Uh -huh. yeah. My Lord, Son, Lord, we glory bound. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden, but right. yeah. I got somewhat against you. Right. And the thing that he's got against him. Weighed in the balance of all the things that he said before this and after this, surely it can't be that bad, we would think. But it's so incriminating. It's damning to the fact of who they were that with that left unregarded and left alone, there's no chance now to see the one that just spoke to him. Uh -huh. Come on. Right. He said, nevertheless, I have somewhat against thee because thou hast left the first love. Right. Man, I wanted to. You remember the first time you fell in love with him? Yes. Yeah. I ain't talking about a boyfriend or girlfriend. I'm talking, about, I'm talking about Jesus, man. Right. Yeah. He been he been trying to rest you for a long time, yeah. but you was running a race though. But it wasn't a race of patience. Right, right. You was running a race of this world. Yeah, absolutely. And you see, you thought we was out there. We was going to apprehend this world, and we was going to get it all, didn't we? Yeah. Man, the beer commercials told us we was going to have the high life, and, yeah. and all come on, all that stuff. We was going to drink it with gusto. Yeah. Well, glory, it was like I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. Amen. I drank enough of both of us, Elder. Yeah. Ain't proud of it. Just telling you who I was. Yeah. But I'm here to tell you that you see, a modern commercialism uh, told us who we needed to be. Amen. Uh, Nike says, just do it. Uh, no matter if you're homosexual, just do it. Uh, no matter if you steal and rob and kill, do it. Uh, the, the whole fabrication of the concept of this world is against the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, but we bought into a lie back then. Uh, so we walked according to the ways of the world uh, instead of according to the ways of the word. Uh, so now, all of a sudden, there's been a translation uh, that he's taken me from the old nature and he's put me right down in the new nature and we've been going along and we, we call out those as a liar we stand against false doctrine we present our bodies as a tabernacle to the to Jesus but in the midst of all that he puts his finger on their hearts and he said but you forgot you left your first love right. you didn't lose it you left it uh -huh. If I misplaced this and I could count it lost, I'll keep hunting for it. Because I've got a determination to find it. But if I get sick of that and chunk them things away and turn my back and walk, I've canceled any possibility of a future. With whatever that thing okay. is. When that when that Benjaminite woman Received those ten silver coins, made a headdress from her husband, and they were put posted up on the mantelpiece or somewhere when he walked in, he saw that. When he come in, it was an assurance that she was taking care of the of the thing that he's presented her. It was a wedding gift. One coin's missing now. But she know the Bible said and she lit a candle and swept the house. Oh, yeah, yeah, she yeah. knew she didn't lose it out there. Yeah. She lost it in here. Amen. But she she didn't leave it. She lost it. And she had a heart to find it again. Yeah. Her whole desire, her mentality, her disposition 
condition. Everything about her now is not looking forward to tomorrow. Not even looking to make a big supper for the husband. It's the, the urgency of the hour was to find the thing that's lost. We lose things right here in the house of God at times. We lose our way. We lose our direction. We lose our hope. We lose our stability. We lose our patience and time. But thank God you didn't leave it. You might have just lost it. And if you just lost it, there is a way back to it. Somebody shout it. There's plenty of things left. They just left it. And they canceled the whole possibility of the potential to ever be who God called them to be. Go ahead, man. I'd much rather, I'd much rather lose something than leave something. Yeah. Now, sure, we leave false doctrine and we leave the things of this world absolutely. We don't ever want to turn back. Right. And that's the good, that's the things you need to leave. Quit associating. Quit being so connected to the world's grab. Right. The world's hold on right. Glory to God. Man, I want to tell you, you've got to learn to depend on Jesus. Amen. Am I saying quit you? No, I'm not saying any of that. Am I saying live in a tent somewhere or in a pine thicket? No. I kind of like that. That well, I walked out there to get my water during this glorious song service. The first time I walked out there to check on Sister Cheyenne. It's hot and muggy. Dear God, broke out in a sweat just talking to her for a minute, checking on her, praying for her while I was out there. I went back out there the second time. Something changed now. Winds has changed direction. It's blowing. If I had hair that blowed it all over my head, amen. But there's a coolness. There's coolness in the air. Why? Because something in the atmosphere is changing. Come on, somebody. Do you remember them days when you were all, all about you and yourself and, and your dreams and your direction? But one day you fell in love with Jesus. And now you got his dreams. You got his direction. You are, you are an ambassador for the Lord Jesus Christ now. You speak about him. You don't tell, we don't testify to this world about ourselves. We testify to this world about like Jesus going all over the world now, bringing water, bringing food, bringing hope. But at the end of it, it's an avenue to bring the word of God. It's to bring to see the spirit of the Lord bring a birthing, a birthing and a hope. So many lost generations. Oh, come on, yes, sir. My God, all the great things they've done, and all of a sudden, but. <laughs> And the one thing, so I'm looking today, and I'm just, I'm just, 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 just comparing. Go back, I go back to, to, to chapter 12 of Hebrews. We can pass about so great cloud witness. Yeah. Let us lay aside every weight and sin which so do us easily beset us. And I want to tell you one of the greatest sins we have in the house of God is not drunkenness. Come on. It's not carousing and fornication. It's simply unbelief. It's simply unbelief. Amen. I want to tell you, God marks unbelief as a lack of faith. And without faith, it's impossible to please God. Right? Every cloud. We, we've been compassed. There's been, there's been, there's been uh, generation after generation run this race before us. And they succeeded. Glory to God. We buried a few here lately. Glory to God. That's run that race. Were they perfect? No. Did they ever lose their, 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 their victory? Yes. But I was with them. It wasn't a long time. It was just for a brief moments when they got so weary and so tired. When they gasped for air. When they couldn't see no more. Whatever the case was. But we right there holding hands and praying. Glory to God. And the moment they stepped off oh, from this glory. side of the earth to that side of glory. They, they brand new. My God, they brand new now. They ran their race. And that's been another one that's in and camped around. Another one that's rude to soul to say you can make it. You don't have to fall. You can stand strong. You don't have to waver. You don't have to backslide. Just hold on to the hands. They hold it all together. And everything's going to be all right. Why don't you get Jesus a good time? The difference between left and lost. Oh, yeah. Glory to God. Oh, yeah. oh yes, sir. I'm, 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 I told you this morning, I live in a glass house. I don't mind it at all. 
Still lock my doors out. <laughs> Hallelujah. But I'm here to tell you, I've lost some things during the way. Right here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you get thrown down and when your feet get swiped on you enough times, it, it, it's hard to get up. Yeah. But then I, I found that scripture where a good man might fall seven times, but he'll get up. Yes, yes sir. Yeah. 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 If it breaks, we'll get another. <laughs> In fact, I might name the same thing Wobble Horse. <laughs> well, that's one thing, friend. I actually just would. Yeah. The other one's glass. We might have to make the other one out of titanium. Or <laughs> oh, that's going to burn up. Yeah. You eternal. There's times in our Christian walk, in our, our race, okay? And sometimes you walk through a very dark time in life, do you not? Right, yes, sir. Absolutely. It's called the trials of our faith. And nobody likes that. Not at all. At times, if not careful, you'll question God, God, did you forget me? But do you know you can ask God questions? Oh, yeah. Oh, man, the old, don't you dare doubt God or don't you dare question God. He knows, sure, he knows more than we know, sure. But it's all right to have a conversation with him. Absolutely. Yeah, amen. As long as your conversation is not full of accusation and accusal, but, but just not understanding, Lord. Jesus hung on Calvary. Father! Father, why have thou forsaken me? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Right. And a question for him. Yeah. Right. Huh? So he, he was our perfect example. There's times. There's times I'm like, dear God. I, 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 at times I go through some seasons. We all do, Brother Chris, yeah. in ministry. But uh, Christians, we all go through seasons where, man, we come into church and, man, everybody's shouting. And, Woo! And, oh, boy, wasn't that good? And you don't feel like you even heard of a, 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 a nothing from heaven. Yeah. Uh -huh. You ever got like that? Yeah. And when you hate, you're going to yeah. hate to prophesy that on you. But if you're not, you will. Come on, it's called just a dark time. It's a trial of your faith. Right. But the key to this is when you're on the mountain or in the valley, you, you walk the same way. Right. Patience. Yeah. Now, now watch this. Cheerful endurance. What? Now, you've got to understand the cheerfulness is not the, 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 the mock or the fake laugh of humanity. Uh -huh. You can't make yourself feel good. Right. Come on. Right. You can't name it and claim it and it shall be. Right. No, no. Right. So it's got to go deeper. This cheerful endurance now. It's got to go got to go deeper. Right. So where do we go to find the whole meaning of this cheerful endurance? We go right back. We go right back and, and, and look at Jesus. Who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross. Oh, yeah. He endured yeah. the cross. He endured the day that he was dying. He was, he was a perfect example of death, uh, resurrection, and burial. Uh, burial and resurrection. Uh, but he was a perfect example in every point abroad. Uh, he's been tempted now. He was tempted to, to fornicate. He was tempted to, to lust. He was tempted to this. He was tempted to that. Uh, oh, he's touchable, friend. If he's only God on this earth, I've told you before, he's not tempted. Uh, but he's tempted by all points abroad. But, 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 but my God, now, he had, he had a cheerful endurance. He wouldn't even speak a word unless he's heard it from heaven. Come on. Oh, my God. And the Holy Ghost that was sent to, 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 to embell in you and I and also to propel us to new heights and greater depths on the, on the commission of Jesus himself. I'm not going to leave you comfortless, but I'm going to, the yeah. promise of a comforter, he's going to walk with you. He's going to, he's going to be with you in the trenches. And when it seems like you can't go on, there's going to be some cheerful endurance, yeah. some stability. That word means steadfastness. Yeah. To be steadfast. To be steadfast on a common ground. Uh -huh. We all got something coming here that's saved. Yeah. His name is Jesus. Yes. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's yeah. our common ground. Glory to God. Because we all going to go through them times. Right. Of not understanding. Oh, yeah. This is about times this Chris tells me going home. Uh -huh. I, I don't like when you say things like that. It's like so we fix to have to go through something. Well, that's a news flash. Yeah. I've been telling you this for years. The world's religion, everything that's not God's going to come against you. Absolutely. 
They're trying their best right now. Oh, yeah. But we're steadfast. Yes. Come on. Yes, sir. We're steadfast, holding on to the promise of the Most High God. Yes, I said it's a different. Don't leave this thing. You might lose your way every once in a while. But let me tell you, listen. When, when, you, when you read that about the, the, the light on the, the path, the lamp on your feet, help me with that. I, I, I can't tell you where it's at right now. But anyway, it's just a simple, small little bit of something on, on the tops of, of, the, of the feet of people that walks in the midnight hour. Yeah. It was never destined. We like a cute being. We want to see, we want to see oh, yeah. 10 miles up the road. Yeah. Yeah. But this was just something to show you the next step. Yeah. Yeah. And in motion, you see your next step. Remember what I told you about a gazelle? That they can jump 10 foot in a bound in a leap? 10 foot? But you can, you can, you can imprison that thing in a little bitty cubicle just high enough that he can't see what's on the other side. He'll never move. He'll die right there. Because yes. a gazelle won't jump and leap unless he can see where he's leaping. Yes. I want to tell you that is a crimination against faith, as the Bible would tell us. Because there are some times we don't know. We don't know if this water is going to be as solid as we believe it for. But he called. I'm going. Come yeah, on, somebody. Yeah, yeah. Glory to God. Yeah. He stepped out of that boat. The rest of the disciples have said he's lost his mind. He's going to drown us. So, you know good and well they're trying to convince him to sit back down and just let the Lord walk on by. Come on, somebody. That's what's wrong with the church. We've sit back too long. We, that, that woman with the issue of blood would have never got her. She would have never got her healing if she let him pass on by. Because of every step he took was a step further from her. But she's made up her mind. If I can but touch the heel of his garment, I'm going to crawl through hell. I'm going to be persecuted. I'm going to be mocked and ridiculed. But I'm going to get my healing. Peter said, Lord, if that you bid me to come out there only. There's the key right there. If he just said in the water, he's going to swim to Jesus if he gets there. But he said, on the water. Yes, sir. Right. Whoa, that feels good. I, Peter must have said, I'm feeling something. Yes, sir. Woo, come on. So he went and took that next step. And as long as he's he's focused, yeah. that's what's wrong with the church. We lose focus so easy. Right. Yeah. Man, I, and sometimes around the house, you know, the bifocals, it's right over here. And I, I, I can just see just a little movement. <laughs> you ever done that? Boy, especially right about dark in that deer stand. Man, all of a sudden everything's a monster buck. Yeah. <laughs> I hunted one time in Jonesboro years ago. God gave me a place to hunt. Man, I'm sitting there one morning. I caught somebody going around and going, look. Well, there he was. I said, oh, my Lord. And he's a monster. He had his head up in a tree. You know? I don't know. He's tearing him. He's trying to tear all the limbs out of that tree. Glory to God. Boy, I turned around and got to sit up. He just stood there. <laughs> he looked around. He walked a few steps and stopped again. I said, dear God. So I gave him another one. Boy, he took out. I got in there and found all that blood. Boy, I, was, I done made a call to one of my buddies. Oh, brother, can I tire? Hey, I'm going to need you, brother. He worked working evenings that day so he could help. He told me he'd come out there and help drag one out. I'm going to need y'all. I got, a, I got a, a good one. Yeah. 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 Man, I'm tracking that blood. I'm like a, I'm like a bird dog. And I'm, just, I'm ready to pour it on somewhere. And all of a sudden, I said, there he is. I got up there. And I'm, oh, my. He had spikes in my tongue. I said, surely this ain't the one I shot. He had spikes. But I've already fabricated. I saw what I saw. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes we see what we hope to see. Yeah. Yeah. Right, yeah. Right. I'm just thanking God he had some bone. <laughs> yeah. Well, I didn't need no help. Didn't want no help. The help was on his way. <laughs> and not only did Kid come, he brought somebody else with him. <laughs> He's bringing a big artillery to come drag this big piece. This next trophy buck. Where's he at, brother? I said, I wanted to say, brother, I must have missed him. But no, I showed him, and they laughed. They thought that was funny. But I never forgot that for the simple reason of this. Sometimes 
we'll believe sometimes the things we want to see instead of the things we, that's been seen. But then we've got to be like Abraham. Oh, yes, sir. He saw some things. Right. And Paul said he staggered not. Right. Yeah. And you think about that, that staggering. Right. Being tossed to and fro yeah. by every wind of doctrine. Yeah. Yes, sir. It ain't a name it, name it, claim it crowd. I'm gonna tell you, they get their they get their hopes up for nothing. Glory right. to God. Now you you snag by the words of your mouth, so don't be speaking all that unbelief all the time. But just because you want something. Yeah, and you claim right. it, it, you better check see who owns the thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Come on, somebody. Right. Well, Lord, some of you guys got a pretty nice ride after I think I'll just go out there claim it. Right. <laughs> yes, sir. I'll just I'll march around it. Yeah. He might give me the keys, yeah. but I said, now, you're right. You cut me a check for such and such here. Right. Come on, because nothing's for free, right? right? Everybody says, oh, your salvation's for free. No, it's not free. It costs yeah. Jesus everything. Yeah. And it cost you and I everything to be I'm almost done here, but listen. We look at it this. We, 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 we see a correlation of something now that patience is needed. Patience is needed, amen, not just on the mountaintop, but patience is needed when you're in that valley. Come on. Because if you're not careful, you'll break and run. And before long, before long, you will lose ground. Come on. How many knows that it's possible to lose ground? I want to tell you, friend, if not careful, you know, we're doing so, we, we, we're taking this thing in strides. But has anybody ever felt like they went too strong? Steps forward and five steps back. Yeah, yeah. It's very easy to get in that mode. But in that time, it's not a time to get discouraged. It's a time to hold on. It's a time to believe the Lord. And if we can simply believe the Lord for a little, the Bible said He'll make us rulers of much. Why don't you stand up right now and give Jesus a good hand by the praise? Looking unto Jesus. That's it. In confident expectation of the fulfillment of all his promises. Yes. Looking into Jesus for relation and looking into Jesus for help and direction. Right. And what I'm simply saying, I'm sum, the sum of the matter is that we should look into Jesus for everything. Absolutely. If you don't know, you don't go. You just be still. Some of you are praying about things. You ain't got a chance here yet. Well, you, you, you're in good company because there's a lot of people in this Bible didn't get their answer the first time they asked God. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, that's Come right. on. That's right. In fact, Daniel prayed. Yeah, yeah. Holy man, he prayed. And the, the archangel Michael got to him and said, Hey, we heard you the first time you prayed, but we've been busy. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Yes, sir. Right. We've been fighting the prince and the power of the air. That's yeah. it. Because he didn't want you to get this answer. Yeah. Glory to God. Yes, so listen to me. The difference between left and lost. If you've lost something. Or if you've left something. Now there's a way back for both. Yes. Come on. Yes, there's a way back for both. It, 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 the Bible said in, in the field that a man found treasure. And Sister Ruthie when he found that treasure. He took it to himself. He went and sold everything he had that we could buy the field. Because he said this thing was so valuable to him that he knew he found one, he could find more. He found Christ, friend. He found the revelation of Jesus Christ right there. And he was willing to sell everything. Because it's like this, friend. When you read the scriptures, you're not going to heaven if you not give everything. Right, sir. Yes, yes sir. You can have religion all day long in a church house, but if you're not giving him everything, he'll let you keep most of it, but he wants it all. He wants you first. This ain't no pull for money. I'm just simply saying it's for everything. It's your will. It's your direction. It, it, listen, your dreams must be his dreams. Come on. He, he must be able to incorporate his will in you and I that we can perform it vic victorious only in, in, with the method of his spirit now with this work. So if we give him everything, that's why we give him all. I love that little word, all. We give you all, Lord. Yes. We give you all. And he yes. gives it back. He gives it back with dividends. Yes. He gives it back, glory to God, with open doors. Oh. He gives it back. What am I 
I said, when you give him all and you pray for that son or daughter, that, that, that loved one, or you, or, or you pray for your enemy even uh, with a right heart, he gives you the satisfaction of knowing that he's not asleep. Uh, he's uh, he, he's 24-7 uh, doing things oh, yeah. uh, doing things in dad that we can't see right now. But by faith we know. And sometimes they'll get meter and rattlesnakes. Uh, but that's a good sign. Uh, they're restless now. Why? Because there's something. Uh, they've been arrested right, right. trying to arrest the world. But yet the God uh, of heaven and earth uh, is arresting me and friend. Uh, For young people, for old people, it's the same. It's the same. It's the same. Because Jesus is the same. Yesterday, today, and forever. Come on, Brother John. Come on, before I get wound up in here. Well, he's walking slow. I might go ahead and take my liberty. Again. Man, I want to tell you, we've had a good day in the morning. We've, we've, had to, we've prayed. We're going to pray for some more, more folks. But there's a lot of sickness on this earth right now. There's a lot of disease, but the greatest disease is the abandonment of God yeah. and the truths of the, of the Word of God. Yes, sir. I, I want to tell you, friend, we live in we living in a land that people can be so up and in and so cold and out within just that quick. Right. Right. There's a spirit driving that. Right. Yeah. That's why you hear me say we've got a made-up mind. Yes, sir. A made-up mind. Yes, sir. That's why you say, you pray and you talk to the last thing you say at night. I'll tell her good night. But I'm saving my last good night for him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Wake up in the morning. I'll talk to him. Come on now. Just keep him near. He's a friend that's sticking closer than a brother. Sometimes he's the only one that understands what you're going through. Absolutely. Because yes, yes, people will get, we'll, we'll, we almost look less compassionate after a few days because life goes on. Yeah. Everybody gets busy. Oh, well, I've done some checking on people today because I just realized it's been a few days since I've checked on them. And uh, especially in the times of our loss, when we look and everybody, you know, we've all been guilty of it. We go to a funeral home and families up there grieving their loved ones. And we'll, so we'll see somebody we ain't seen in years and stuff. And for a brief moment, we'll forget where we're at. We'll just be talking and laughing. And, you know, come on, we've, I believe we've all been guilty. It's no disrespect to that family. But the evident fact of it is that life has went on for everybody else. That's why I try my best to try to feel the pain of others. Because we never know what that person's going through unless we walk in their shoes. That's why I've taught you here. Don't be so quick to judge that person out there. We don't know where them people's walked. But I thank God they've, they've been in some areas and they've walked some areas in their life that I ain't walked. Yes, sir. Come on. Not because, let me tell you, not because we're, we're better than anybody. But we got the fortune, well, good fortune right now. Name Jesus and we'll you know I think about all the homeless out there. One day they were CEO for a large corporation, driving big cars, living in big mansions, and they lose everything they got. See everybody that goes that mission up there that, that goes for a meal ain't some what people call bombs or something. Some of them people's got much education. But they just made a wrong turn somewhere. And, 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 and when life slapped them in the face, they made some bad choices. And they find themselves at rock bottom. That's why the arm of the Lord is never short. He can reach us. I don't know about y'all, but he had to reach pretty low to get me. Come on. That's why we should count our blessings daily. We should be thankful people. And the way you do that is that you'll be a, you'll be cheerful in the endurance of your walk with God. Right. Putting Him first in everything. Yes. This couple here, they're going to come share 
with us here just a, just a second. I, I wanted to greet the church. But they made some, some monumental steps of faith. And if he shares it now, if he shares it when he comes back from this next trip, that's totally up to them. But I want to tell you, the gospel's going forward. Yes, sir. But if they find themselves halfway across this world, you find yourself ministering to the neighbor in the backyard, God still counts it righteous. Yes, sir. Come on. Yes, sir. Come on. Not all of us is going to go to far mission. That's right. Here's a couple right here who's fixing to make their first trip, an opportunity. It's an awesome opportunity for anybody to go. But let me tell you, if we'll just open our eyes and look around, yes. dear God, I just went and visited somebody a while ago. I said, I saw a far mission field down that road. Yes, sir. Dear yeah. Lord. Right. And I believe we need to get busy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. You with me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We're going to implement some things this year. We're going we're gonna, we're gonna to fish. Brother David caught a couple the other day, but he lost five, but he went fishing. Yeah. He would have caught a thing if he wouldn't have went. Yeah. We'll get out there, we'll get out there and beat the bushes and we'll see what comes out of them bushes. Come on. Yes, you with me? Yes. yes, amen. And the last time a crowd told me that, I brought them down to the projects in, 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 in Jonesboro Hodge. And they got they met us with shotguns and dobermen and pictures and, and come on, somebody. Went to Simpsport one time, tried it, got met with a crescent wrench and a crowbar. Another shotgun. I said, what's with these people with double barrels? <laughs> I stayed out with the visitor a while ago. Dog wasn't that high, but my God, he looked like a lion standing, barking at deep. He let me get to the door, but he didn't want to let me leave. I said, dog, I'll come in and visit with you if you just won't bite me here. Huh? But it reminded me, Brother Chad, of some of the places we found ourselves. Harmless, wise as serpents, but harmless as doves. So everywhere you go, there's a mission for you. Yes. And our mission's for Jesus. Yes. Glory to God. Why don't you give the Lord a good praise? Yes. Oh, let me stand by this. So you guys know sometimes it's dangerous to hand a preacher a microphone <laughs> after somebody else has preached. Uh -huh. I won't preach, but I will share one thing because he told me he wanted us to say hi so i guess i better say hi first <laughs> i said that to a lot of you before we started this but we didn't come really to to, to minister we didn't come to uh, get anything or do anything i just want to be honest with you um, yeah i'm sorry i guess i should have said y'all oh, you know, um, and you guys i think know me enough by now i'd really resonate is that okay yeah, yeah. you need this over here it's all right. I just had one scripture in just a second if it's okay. So really, we just came to hang out with our family because that's what we consider. Yes, sir. I hope yes, that's all right. Yes. 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 Brother Joel and a number of people in our congregation and some of the other congregations of the fellowship have been facing, just like you have, have heard, just sickness and whatever, whatever, whatever. You know, it's not all COVID. Be careful. Pe right. People get hung up on right. that. I think everything's right. COVID yeah. now. Yeah. Like, it's yeah. not. Yeah. But anyway, since we weren't able to have our services at all today, we had planned on trying to come down this morning. That didn't quite work out. So, as he said, we were talking this afternoon. And then I, I told Christy, I said, well, somehow, some way in the conversation, I'll find out for sure if they're having service tonight and if they're going to be there. And uh, finally, at one point, he, he said something. and I, So I commented back, and his response let me know. I was like, okay, good. They're happy. So I said, all right. We finished talking, and we hung up. I said, they're having service. So, so I said, well, let's go down and visit. And she was every bit as excited as I was because I mean that. I've shared it before, I know. And so I don't want to sound like it's just like frivolous repetition. But uh, your pastors are pastors to us as well. Brother Joel, yeah, he's, he's my senior pastor. But this is Brother Joel's pastor. And he was a pastor in my life before Brother Joel, actually. Yeah. And so they're our pastors as well. I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. So when we're here, we're with our family. First, yes, with them, but then with you guys. Because ever since we walked in this building for the first time, and I don't do the thing where we stand up and we say lots of stuff because we're supposed to and makes people feel good. I try to be polite. I do. I care. I try to have compassion. I care. But I don't do that. So understand. Right. What I mean when I say this, 
Because when we walked in for the first time, you guys have treated us like we were here the whole time or, or, or we've been here or we were always part of the house. And uh, although we're not technically, we are. We just live a little further down the road. I hope this all makes sense. I'm not trying to ramble. But I, he said, would you say something? I'm like, yeah, but I, I didn't come to do that. I really just came to hang out with y'all. I didn't come... Uh, because if I was supposed to, I'd have dressed a little bit better. I mean, <laughs> I don't do ties most of the time, but, you know, the ties that bind, never mind. That's a good <laughs> Anyway. But, so I'm sorry if I look a little sloppy to some of you. This, this is just me, and he's always let me just be me. Exactly. Brother David, yeah. even in Jonesboro, he always let me just be me, but in Jesus. And I said, That's look, right. I know I don't quite do things the way that some do, but <laughs> I'm not trying to be edgy or whatever. I just want to be me. Yes. Yes. I think that's the best thing. If we can yeah. get comfortable being ourselves, right. Right. but in the Lord, that's the best place right. to be. Nevertheless, so he said, well, would you share something? I said, okay. So here it is. You ready? I'll do this. Hebrews 11, 8. You're fully familiar with this, mm -hmm. but I'll just read it to you. You ready? Yes, By faith, Abraham, when he was called to go out into a place which he should after receive for an inheritance, obeyed, and he went out not knowing whither he right, went. Right. If you read the Amplified or you study out what it's really saying there, it's really saying he headed out not knowing where he was exactly. going. Yeah. Yeah. That's an interesting phrase, and I may have shared this point maybe on another occasion. If so, forgive me. But it's interesting because since he asked, he said, will you share something later on at the end? I said, yeah, sure, that's, that's fine. I'll do that. But... It's important to me that I say what God wants me to say. Because right? yes. yeah. you really don't need to hear me. You don't. But it is important if there's something that I'm supposed to say that I say that. Amen. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And so all the way through, I haven't got away from this phrase. You ready? It's by faith. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's the first two words of that. And you right. know that, that all through Hebrews it says by faith all over that book. Right. Yeah. But it's by faith and then I get to thinking about things that we're singing earlier and the things that Brother David shared, and it's yeah. just that. It's by yes, faith. Yeah. Yeah. It's by faith. What we're doing now, it's by faith. Yeah. Yeah. It really is. It, it's not about anything else. And sometimes between the call and then when you step into or you start walking more in the fulfillment of the call, sometimes it's quite a process. Yes, sir. Sometimes it's very uncomfortable at times. Sometimes it's quite lengthy at times. So just a quick summary is this. It would have been a little over 20 years ago that I knew in the middle of a small church in another country named Wales, which mm -hmm. neighbors England. Yeah, yeah. If any of you have ever heard of Wales or Evan Roberts from the Welsh Revival, right. I was in a little small church in the middle of Wales on the floor in the middle of worship that I knew that I knew that I knew that I was called to do what I'm doing yes. now. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But I wasn't doing it then. Yeah. I was on my first mission trip, and I didn't understand what all was happening, but I knew that I knew it was God. And so here I am, a little over 20 years later, starting to walk in what we would call doing this thing full time. I hope I'm making sense to you. Yeah. But again, this isn't about me or us. That's not why we came. We came just to visit but I want to talk about the principle of it just for a minute. It's by faith. Right. Yeah. It's by faith. Because a lot of times on the way of this faith journey and this faith walk, we don't have details. And I'm a detailed guy. I like details. Yes. But there's a lot of times I don't get those details until after the fact or once we're walking out. I mean, when you think about it practically, how do you even set out on a journey not knowing where you're going? That's an interesting concept. <coughs> well, it's by faith. Right. Yes. Evidently, he had so much faith in God and his ability to direct him that he, and this is my assumption, okay? I think it's fairly reasonable, but he must have figured something like this. Well, if I start going straight, then he'll tell me to turn around and go behind me, or if I go left, he'll tell me to go right if I'm not doing right. But it does say this. It does say he set out right. on a journey. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't say he sat still right. yeah. or he was sitting still. Right. It says he sat out on a journey, not knowing where he was going. But why? Well, by faith. Because he had already seen the faithfulness of God. And if there's one thing I can tell you about God, I've seen his faith. Yes. Yeah. Over and over right. and over and over right. and over again. 
And the only reason we can do what we're doing now is not because we're such great people or we're such great people even of faith, if you will, or we're faith giants or whatever. Not at all. I've just seen His faithfulness. In fact, it really has very little to do with me. It has everything to do with Him. Yeah. Because if it if it rests on me, then we're in trouble. Yeah. Yeah. But when it rests on Him, we're going to be all right. That makes sense? Yeah. 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 Huh? Yeah? We love y'all. We really do. Yeah. Yeah. We're thankful that we were able to come and hang out and visit. Like I said, we didn't come to do anything except for just to be here. So I hope you understand that, though. I don't, I don't mean that disrespectfully. It's, it's enough just to be here. Yes, For us, it really is. Right. I don't need anything. I just I came to hang out. There you go. All right, so I've been uh, reading through Proverbs in my personal study time. And I came across Proverbs 25, 25, which says, As cold waters to a thirsty soul, so is good news from a far country. Yeah. Boy, that leaked off the page. Yes. <laughs> like, that's it. That's what we're doing. We're going to far countries to share the good news, but we're bringing water to those thirsty right. souls. Yes. 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 And I'm so thankful that we get that opportunity. Um, like you said, we've made some major steps. We've completely downsized. We moved out of our house, sold everything, got an RV. <laughs> moved into that and that's strictly just to have somewhere to call home when we're not in the other country um and i've never been happier you know yeah. i've had the five bedroom custom built house the sixty thousand dollar boat the expensive stuff and i've never been happier than when i'm walking in the call that he's yes, called me to just want to thank him for that opportunity he called me six years ago it hadn't quite been 20 like him but again it was one of those moments where it's just a God thing you know that yeah. you know that you know that's right and um, so no matter how long it takes six years 20 years whatever just to be able to see that come sure. about and to walk in that I'm so grateful Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Well, praise the Lord, man, I tell you. He's more than just a brother in Christ. He's been a personal friend of mine for a long time. You know. A while back, it was in still last year, you know, we, we support the water purification uh, through the uh, ministry of Four Corners. But a while back, God put something on my heart. And we, uh, <clears throat> you know these things, but a tenth of everything that comes into this church, y'all listen back there for a minute now, goes back to the mission field. That's biblical. Uh, every church I pastor, every church I ever pastor, that's the principle. A tenth goes to the missions. It's command of Jesus. And uh, we was supporting God's little one. We made a, a we made a change to God's little one, and then we we got on board with the with the you see the and when they come back for this trip, they're going to come back and they're going to bring one of the systems with them, the, the buckets and the, the purifiers and, and stuff, where we can kind of get a first hand look and you can walk up and touch it, you know, because it's a miraculous thing. But God put something on my heart. I've been waiting on the news, what He shared with me, just a very recently. For over a year. Because I knew, not before him, but I knew when they were standing up here that time about that they're fixing to go full time. Now, so what what I'm doing is it, we're going to be supporting God's little one and four corners. But we also taking a part, a third part of that of that tenth. And we're going to support it from this church, Brother Glenn and Sister Christy. And somebody said, well, wait, well, why are you going to support them? Well, they the ones that puts all the water in the, in the hands of the needy out there. Yes, yes, yes. And you can't, you can't go full time and, and, and hold a 40-hour job. Okay. He's been blessed that when he's back in the country, that he's got an opportunity that his boss says, you can come and work whenever you want to work. You know, So that's a wonderful thing. 
But that's still, and like you just heard, they they've they've sold whatever they got what they need. But God put that on my heart, so it's not. It, it's just basically taking a, a third of that that tenth and putting it in their hands because I don't know if y'all know, but he's skinny. <laughs> he's skinny, so I don't want to see him lose no more weight. We need to feed him a little bit, you know. But it, it's it, I, I, you know, it's a glorious thing that we're that we're able to do this yes. from the. It's amazing the finances that comes through the, this, this little small building right here, this little small congregation. And you've learned the secret of this. When you give to God mm -hmm. yes. and you allow God to grow it, yeah. He does some miraculous stuff. Yes. Does He yeah. not? Yeah. And so we're, we're, we're amazed at what God's doing. And, 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 and like I said, your tithe come here to the to the church and then back to the mission field is put water in so many, yes, you know. Yes, Brother Chris and Sister Angel is going to get to make their first opportunity to a foreign mission field. And like I said, I, I believe in foreign mission fields, but I also believe in the mission fields down the streets yes, here too. Yes, yes. And we, we, that's our part, guys. Yes. We, we, we need, we'll get together and I'll share some of the things that we want to maybe in, implement here that while they out there are taking care of over them seas as a commission of God. We can move about the neighborhoods and yes, stuff sir. and just invite people to Jesus. Yes, sir. Remember what I told you this morning? Don't anybody invite people to church? Yeah, ask people to come to church, sure. But you invite people to Jesus. Yes, sir. And, and let me tell you, I'm not putting a feather in a hat, but you give honor where honors do that. They sit right there, Sister Deborah Frey do. Yep. Can invite them to Jesus as good as anybody yeah, I've yeah, ever around. Yeah. I want to tell you, she's got a knack. And not saying that we don't, but she's got a knack of just inviting people to Jesus. Amen. Yeah. Amen. So we want to get more involved this yeah, year with, yeah, with that. Yeah. Amen. You know, uh, we, 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 you, you grow the body from the inside out, not from the outside in. That make any sense? Yeah. You know? So we, we, we want to be partakers of that. Remember now, the end of the month, the last Sunday, testimony night, a young preacher you know, told me he got a message. Come on now. But, and he, but he also warned me, he said, don't you preach my message. <laughs> so I told him I'm going to leave that alone. If his daddy gets a message and I hear about it, I might preach that one. But, uh, but uh, I won't preach the young man's message here. But, but I want you to be praying. The body, remember the Sister Judy? The body of Christ on the last Sunday night of the month is just going to testify, sing a song, preach, what, whatever. I told that young man, preach for a convention. I'll get that altar and I'll follow that altar. Amen. 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 You know, but be, be, be spontaneous with the Spirit of God. Yes. He's trying to build, and he's trying to build something in you that some of you don't see for yourself. Yes. Hey, courage, yes. stability. Well, I can't testify, but you can't say, I just want to thank the Lord that I'm saved. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. That might have been more than you've done in you. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And you'll be amazing when you grab the old microphone and you begin to get under the anointing of God, just what, come, what comes out. Right. Huh? right. So it's going to be good. Amen. Yes. But we got lots, lots before that. But I, I just want to, we're going to pray right now. We want to pray over our prayer box. Yes. We're going to believe God. Brother John, we're ready for y'all again. Uh, I want us to pray and believe God. We've got so many, so many sick. Okay? We want to believe the Lord tonight uh, for every name that's in this box. Yes. Mm -hmm.